Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's new release video. I am super excited to share with you guys all of the new products that are going to be available in the shop today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. It is the second Wednesday of the month, so I have a brand new to done monthly planner to share with you guys. And then I also have a daily add-on and a new one month planner um, to share. So I think where I'm gonna start is the daily add-on. So let's go ahead and open that up. This is the landscape version of the daily add-on. So for the daily add-ons, you receive both landscape and portrait. You also receive both Monday start and Sunday start. And the only thing that really changes is this goes either from Sunday to Saturday or Monday to Sunday up here. That's really it. But then you also receive a time blocking option and you receive a morning. Um, nope, that's another. Oh, this is my one month planner. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. Um, you also receive the morning, afternoon, and evening blocks. So depending on what you prefer, if you prefer more of like the hours and the time scheduling, or if you prefer to kind of chunk your day out by morning, afternoon, evening, then those are the two options for you. So this is the blank space daily add-on option, and this has been a highly requested one. You get a ton of blank space over here that you can use to decorate or put photos or journal for the day, however you want to do it. There's a lot of flexibility to be creative with this layout. So this is the landscape. So you get all this space over here. All of the daily buttons are over here on the sides. And I'll share the portrait version with you guys here in a second. With all of our add-ons, you also receive Apple Calendar integration, Google Calendar integration, and a um, little button here where you can access the P2P Vault. So, um, and these are very hyperlinked. So if you tap on a button here, it's going to take you to the 22nd. Tap on the 25th, it's gonna take you to the 25th. You'll always know which day you're on because you're gonna have this gray box over here with the number in it. That gray box is a placeholder for the mini calendars, which can be found in the P2P vault. So you can put a little mini calendar here. You can also cover it up with something else if you'd like, but that number there will let you know where you're at at all times. And these are very fast files, which is really nice. Anytime you tap anywhere at the top here, it's gonna take you back to that first page. And that's a little trick that you can use. Um, sorry if that was blurry. My camera does not like the white screen popping back at it, but, um, that is there so that if you insert your daily add-on into your hub your hub 2.0 or if you insert it into your prosper planner you can very easily get back to your main planner all you would do after you insert it of course is you would tap on the top here that takes you back to the first page you swipe over and you're back in your main planner either your hub or your prosper planner whichever one you're using um, you can also always tap on the one button here if you would like to. So that's how you would get back. And then let me share with you the portrait version here. So here is the time blocking portrait version. So a little bit different. The buttons are going to be at the top and the bottom. And then of course the layout looks a little bit different. I have my 12.0 iPad Pro here and I feel like you can better see, you know, how much space you have when I put it in this orientation. So you have a bunch of space for to-do lists, you have your gray box here, and then you have all this space off to the side as well that again, you can use for like photos or journaling or widgets, um, you know, whatever you wanna do there. So that's the time blocking one. And then this is the morning, afternoon, and evening blocks. So that's the daily add-on. Now let's move on to the one month planner. So for the one month planner, um, Let's go back to the first page here. So you, I did like a whole detailed walkthrough. I'll kind of go through it real quick, but for the one month planners, and let me put this back in landscape mode, 
you are going to receive 24 different versions of the one month planner. So you're going to receive landscape and portrait. You're also going to receive the um, Monday start month with Monday start week, a Sunday start month with a Monday start week, and then a Sunday start month with a Sunday start week. So all three of those versions. I prefer the Sunday start with the Monday start week, Sunday start month with the Monday start week. And so those are the ones I've downloaded to my device. Um, but then you also, for the daily pages, get your choice of the time blocking, and then you also get um, the little blocks over here too. So you get to decide what you want to use. You get lots of options there. So this is the daily page for the monthly. Everything is very, very hyperlinked, but let's go ahead and start with the monthly view. So on the monthly view, you're gonna find on your sidebar on every page here, you're gonna have three monthly calendars back to back here. Um, you'll always know which calendar you're on. It'll say one of three, and then it'll say, you know, two of three over here to the side, and three of three, three of three, and all of that. And then you've got your week buttons here. Oh, you also receive a five week and a six week option. So for those months where you need that extra row of boxes, you'll get an extra week. So that's really helpful. So you get your weekly buttons over here. You get some dividers over here, which I've gotten questions about what to use the dividers for. Um, if you insert this into your hub, you could put templates behind these dividers. Um, same thing for the Prosper Planner. Say one month you wanna kind of switch things up, not use you know, the formats that are provided in that planner, you could easily insert this behind a divider if you wanted to, um, totally up to you. But if you're doing that, you may be better off with the Hub 2.0, just saying. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can put templates behind these. There's gonna be add-ons coming to the shop. Um, I'm working on a budget add-on right now that's been by far the most in-demand one. Uh, we've been very, very busy the past week between a family trip up to the Polar Express and Arizona, and then we had my daughter's, my oldest daughter's birthday, and we had a friend stay over and all that kind of stuff. So we've had so much going on that I haven't had much time to work. Um, so there's only one month, one one month planner oh my gosh that's there's only been one one month planner there we go um for today but i'm hoping next week to have a few more for you guys because i want to give you lots of options obviously um and then there's going to be something else coming to to the shop in the very near future that i want to start working on asap which you could put behind these dividers. So there's add-ons, there's templates, and then there's something else that's coming and all of that. So lots of options for you. And then, like I said, all of the add-ons come with Apple Calendar integration, Google Calendar integration, and access to the P2P vault. So on the monthly view, you're gonna find your daily links. There's a lot of like little invisible links in this planner. So you're gonna find your daily links in the upper right-hand corner. If I tap there, it's gonna take me to that day. You'll always know which day you're on. It'll say up here, but then you're also going to know which week this is in. So this is in week one um, through that gray box there. Those gray boxes are all hyperlinked to go back to the monthly view, and the gray boxes are there for the mini calendars. So, um, and then you can access your weeks obviously through the weekly buttons over here, but you can also access them through the buttons over here. So this is the weekly view. So this is the productivity. Um, monthly planner, one of our, well, I would say the most popular. I think functional and productivity were pretty neck and neck as far as popularity in the shop. So I wanted to get the, the productivity one out for you guys. So um, for the productivity layout, you've got five categories essentially per day. So you could split this up per member of your family if you wanted. You could split it up by like weather, events, home to do's, um, personal to do, self care. It, you could use this for like tracking health and fitness. You could use it for tracking your cleaning schedule. Like there's just so many ways to use this layout. I use this layout for a very long time and I really want to use it again here soon. I do feel like it helped me be productive, hence the name productivity <laughs> and everything. So that's the weekly view. It's the productivity layout. You've got your gray box up here too that's gonna let you know which week it is. So this is week two. Um, you can put your mini calendar up here and then you do have sidebar space that you can use for widgets or photos or decoration, however you want to use that. Um, the days up here are hyperlinked. So if I tap on Sunday, it's gonna take me to that daily page. And as you can see, it's Sunday for week two. So everything is 
intertwined <laughs> in this planner. If I tap back on Sunday here, it's going to take me back to that specific week. Anytime you tap on the gray box, it's going to take you back to your first monthly page. Um, so I figured the first one's probably the primary one that you guys are using. Some ideas for the monthly view too. So you could use, you know, your month one for your personal calendar. You could do a work calendar and then maybe you could do like gratitude for each day or you could do health and fitness stats like, um, your workout schedule or maybe you're, you know, taking measurements each day, however you want to do it, but you have three calendars to work with, which I think is really nice. Um, but yeah, so everything again is very hyperlinked the daily too. So tap there to get back to the week, tap here to get back to the month. Um, and then you can track your weather up here, your top three priorities. You could track whatever you want in these boxes here, checklists, a little space over here, which I think is perfect for pictures. You put some quotes here or quick notes, and then obviously your schedule. And this one's exactly the same. The only thing that changes is that this over here becomes the morning, afternoon, evening blocks. So I'm super excited for this one month planner. I hope you guys are too. And there's going to be more to come next week. So that's the other thing available in the shop. So, so far we have a daily add on the one month planner. And then I want to reveal the brand new to done planner. So this is version three. I did make some changes. I will go over those here in just a moment. I wanted to make them a little bit more hub friendly. So that is what I have done. Now, with your to done planners, you're going to receive obviously the planner itself, which is undated, so you can reuse it over and over again. You're going to receive bonus covers, which you see down here, and you're also going to receive a sticker kit. I get questions all the time about offering the mini sticker kit separately. Um, I can, but you guys, the reason why I've chosen not to is because it creates so many accidental orders where people will buy the one, the to done planner, and then they'll buy the sticker kit as well. It happens no matter how much I label the to done monthly planner, it just, it, people accidentally buy it and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't want to create confusion by offering both again. So as of now, unless something changes or I change my mind or something, as of now, the only way to get the sticker kit is to get the to done monthly planner. Now, if you really want the sticker kit, you never know. You might want to use that to done monthly planner one month when you're really busy or you have a lot going on. So I know you guys really want me to sell this separately. Um, and I feel bad, but I feel like it's just, it's a lot of like, you know, behind the scenes work to kind of manage all of that. Anyways, that's kind of why I just offer it. And it kind of makes the to done planner a little bit more exclusive, a little bit more special when you get special stickers for it. You know what I mean? So anyways, um, let's go ahead and get into the one month planner. So you're still going to get a cover here. Now, if you insert this into your hub, you could obviously delete the cover if you really want to, or you can just move it to the back to where you can just swipe over and get right into the planner. Um, you can always reorder pages, you guys. So say you put your to done planner into your hub and you want this monthly view to be the first thing you see, you would simply just move that to the very first page. And you do that through going to your thumbnails here and you just press, hold, and just move this over. So now the order is my monthly view, my cover, you know what I mean? So you can just do that if you would like to. I'm gonna put this back where it was before. Um, it's not gonna mess with the links or anything like that if you reorder the pages. The only thing that is going to mess with the links is if you delete pages, so just be aware of that. So, okay, so you get your cover, you get your bonus cover, so your bonus covers are gonna be offered in PNG format, and you simply just layer them right on top of the existing cover. So that is how that works. You're gonna get the landscape version as well as the portrait version. So you can do that and it's gonna fit perfectly. Um, just layer it across like a big sticker um, on top of your cover. I do have a video on my tutorials playlist that shares that process with you guys if you wanna check it out. 
Okay, and then if I tap here, it's gonna take me to my dashboard page. This is a very simple, clean, but decorated um, dashboard page. So you could put pictures up here, you could put like a mini calendar up here, you could um, do some quotes up here, however you wanna do that. Kind of use that as like a vision board space. You get some lists over here where you could put maybe your goals for the month, birthdays for the month, uh, monthly to-dos, and then you get a nice little habit tracker here too where you can track all your habits, um, daily tasks, things like that for the month. And then um, this little touch of deco here is so cute. The little tape is so cute. So I just love the to done decorated planner so much. So this is like a wintry type of theme. Um, I wanted to do like a wintry type of deal. I do live in the United States, so I'm kind of going off of those seasons and everything. Um, I know that some people are not in winter right now, but eventually the to done planners will have a lot of options in them each month as they release. There's going to be summer options, fall options, winter options, you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, eventually after this year is over, there's going to be lots of options available. Um, but yeah, so that's the dashboard page, and then this is the monthly view. Now, I've been planning quite a bit in the To Done Planner, so if you want to see the To Done Planner in action, definitely check out my videos. It is super quick and easy to date this. Um, you can use the, I like to use the little decorative deco dots. Um, you just put like January up here with a sticker, and I will share the sticker book with you guys in just a moment as well. And let me go ahead and X out of these. Um, and then you've got this little cute squirrel over here, which I did a sneak peek and I shared the little squirrel and you guys were loving <laughs> the squirrel. I'm getting, I'm gathering that you guys really like animals. So that's really fun. I love animals too. And this little squirrel is adorable. So it's nice and decorated, beautiful. You just throw your stickers in there. Everything's gonna match, which is really, really nice. So that's the monthly view. With the To Done Planner, you receive the land landscape and the portrait version. You're also going to receive all of the different start date options, the Monday, Monday, Sunday, Monday, Sunday, Sunday. And then you're also going to get a five week monthly option and a six week monthly option. So um, everything you could need, you know, you can make this work whenever you want. Um, and then we get into the week. So all the weeks are decorated. You've got this beautiful winter tree back here. Um, all the little colored boxes here. You still have some sidebar space that you can use for various things. Oh, the one change here that you're gonna see is that I did add Apple, Google, and the P2P Vault into the To Done Monthly Planner system. So, and also I added a link at the top here that's gonna take you back to the first page. And that was again to make it more hub friendly where you can get back to the first page really easily before you would have to tap on the dashboard page and then swipe over and swipe over again. But now this is gonna take you back to page one and you just swipe over. So very simple to do there. Now I will say if you delete your cover, that link is not going to work. So just be aware of that and that link is going to take you back to this cover page so um, you know if that's the case then you would just tap on like the dashboard or say you make your month the first page um, then you're going to want to tap on your month and then swipe but um, either way it makes it pretty quick I kind of like having the decorative option here where you have like you know you can put January planner and all that but anyways so that's that here's another weekly view here this is the Monday um, the Sunday Monday option that's the the format that I prefer um, and then you've got this little decorative piece down here you've got this option here you always get like a blank box I like the blank boxes just for like widgets or checklists things like that Here's another one with the hot cocoa on top of the books and the pine cone and the little mittens. Just very January. I love it. And then you've got the ice skates over here, the berries, the kind of ship lapish looking background and all the circles where you can put your events. So super, super cute. Let me move that down a little bit. And then here's your daily page. So you get a schedule over here. You get your um, little checklist over here. The weather, the open box here where you can put like a quote or something if you want or put like, 
you know, your mood for the day. You can write some notes over here and then you got this nice big blank space here. So this is a dashboard, which means that you would, you know, set it up and reuse it each day. Um, but you can also duplicate it if you want to, or you could behind your dividers insert a daily add-on. If you want that dedicated linked, you know, daily page and everything, you would just go to your dividers. Is put your daily add-on here, tap on div divider one, swipe over and you're in your daily add-on and everything. So that's kind of how that would work. Um, but yeah, so that's the daily page. And then you've got your master task tracker and that's, I'm kind of going in order button. So the little clock is the daily page, the check it off is obviously the task tracker, budgeting, meal planning, um, health and fitness, like wellness, and then notes, dividers, and then Apple, Google, and everything. So this is the master task tracker. So you got a spot for annual tasks, monthly tasks, seasonal, weekly, and daily. And then the budget plan changed a little bit. Instead of this being a note section down here, I did create a summary. So you have a summary where you can put in your income, bills, expenses, and miscellaneous. So that way you get like that little snapshot of everything right there, which I think is really helpful. So I wanted that to kind of match the budget plan that was available in the Prosper Planner and the Hub system. So you get your budget plan. With the budget section, you get a weekly check-in, a transaction log, sinking funds, debt tracker, and savings tracker. So per, I, I think that's pretty close to everything you could need. Um, obviously, some people track more or some track less, but if you don't need a page, obviously you can ignore it. Um, if you you know, need more, you can insert um, other templates or you can use like the notes page here if you want to. But all of these little buttons here are hyperlinks. So if I tap on them, it's gonna take me to those pages. So there's a weekly check-in page, there's a transaction log, um, a sinking funds, the debt tracker, and the savings tracker. So just little spaces where you can track, you know, specific debts and stuff. You can duplicate pages if you need to. If you have multiple savings accounts, you can put the account here and then duplicate the page and have them kind of go back to back. Um, and then, yeah, so that's kind of how that works. I use this for budgeting, so if you want to see it in action, check out my budget videos. They go up every Friday. That may be changing to Thursday, by the way. I think I might be switching things around a little bit, but, um, yeah, so they go up later in the week, so definitely check that out if you are interested in seeing this in action. If you run out of space on the transaction log, simply duplicate it, and then you've got more space. So, uh, but those are the budget pages, and then you've got your meal plan page. So very simple, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, each day of the week, and then a nice long list over here. And I made this a little bit bigger. You can check it off, obviously, but you can also put the quantity. So say you need, like, three pounds ground beef or something like that. So I wanted it to be a little flexible there for you. So that's kind of why it's set up the way it is. And you got that cute little um, hot cocoa right there. So everything's really decorated in this planner. Hence like the whole purpose of it is to save you time and everything's just decorated, ready to go. So I love it so much. Um, and then the wellness tracker, I left this to be very flexible. Um, so each day of the week, and then you've got health stats, so if you weigh in every day or if you take measurements every day, you track your blood sugar, your blood pressure, whatever it may be, you can put health stats right here. Um, sleep, you could write like how many hours you slept. There's plenty of space to write little notes about how you slept if you want. Water intake, food intake. Food intake is open in case you track calories or macros or Weight Watchers points, however you do it. Um, maybe just protein. There's all sorts of different ways of doing it. I wanted to leave it very flexible for you guys. Activity and notes. So just a little section for some extra notes if you need that. And again, you can duplicate this each week if you want to kind of keep track of everything. Just duplicate it. And then you can write the week of right here if you want. Um, you can also like copy and paste this behind each weekly page if you prefer to do it that way too. Um, that's just another way you could do it. 
And then you've got your notes here. So you've got four sections and then you got a little decorative element here and you can kind of do this for whatever. You could put, you know, um, you could separate it by weeks, maybe put your cleaning on this schedule. If you don't want to use the master task tracker, you want to kind of put more detail. You can do that. You could um, take notes for like work meetings. So you could put like the date of the meeting and then put some notes here or duplicate this page as needed. So many different ways to use this. I personally like to use this for like product ideas or work to do's, just different things like that for the business. And then we get into the dividers. So the dividers, again, you can put templates behind them. You can put add-ons behind them. You can um, put the new thing <laughs> that I'm gonna be making behind them, all that kind of stuff. There's different ways to do that. You can put things from other shops behind there if you want to do that. Lots of different ways to use that. And then again, you get the Apple Calendar, Google Calendar, and P2P Vault. And here are the dividers. So the big changes for this, we're adding that top link that takes you back to the cover and then also adding the Apple and Google and Vault and then on the budget page, adding that little summary there. Now the portrait version got a little bit of a change too. So all the same changes as the landscape, but the buttons are now on the bottom and I did that so it would be consistent with the one month planners and things like that and I feel like you just get a little bit more space. It's the same amount of space, but it feels like more space when the buttons are on the bottom. I just like the look of it more. I think it just looks a little bit cleaner this way. So um, if I flip this this way, you guys can get like kind of a better view of it. But all the same changes in terms of adding the Apple, Google, and Vault. And then the budget page, you get a little summary right here. There was a tiny bit of space for notes. So you could do that to like track your overall balance in your checking account if you wanted to. Um, there's a little bit of space there for notes if you want. There's more space up here if you want to use your goals and stuff. But now you have that little summary section there too. Um, but the portrait is pretty much set up the same way as the landscape, all the same sort of decorative elements as you can see. Um, here's all the weekly views. This tree is just absolutely beautiful, you guys. It's so like wintry and frosty, I love it. So this is the portrait version. And you can always check out pictures on um, Etsy if you want to kind of see what that's all about. So those are the changes in the planners themselves. Um, and then the portrait, obviously same thing, you tap up here, it's gonna take you back to the cover. So that's kind of how that is set up. Takes you back to the cover, takes you back to the cover. So that's how that's all set up. Okay, so that is the portrait version of the one month planner or the to done one month planner. And then let's go over the sticker book. I did make some changes right off the bat as you guys can see I added some more deco I got that request and I decided to do that for the January now I do want to go in and for the previous to done planners I want to put them in this new format with all the extra things um, I'm gonna do that as soon as I get time but I figured we're probably not using fall as much and Christmas is almost here so I'm kind of putting that on the lower end of my to-do list in terms of priorities, but I do eventually want to, um, you know, change those and update those. And if you purchase them, you don't have to worry about repurchasing. You would just go back to the Dropbox, re-download, and you'll have those changes. And once I do make those changes, I will certainly let you know, um, both on Instagram and Facebook. And yeah, and then you would just go and download, but I don't know how quickly I'll be able to get to that. I'm trying to get ahead right now on products and stuff, trying to get all the February kits that are releasing in January done for Andrew, so he has the whole month to work on those. And so there's just higher priority things that um, I need to get to first, and then I will be going back and making changes to those. So anyways, um, so here is the little sticker book. This is a mini kit, so it doesn't have as much as the normal big kits. There's, there's over 700 stickers in this sticker book. There's over 1,200 in the regular sticker book. So there's still quite a few in here though. I did want to you know, bring all the essentials in. So here are the deco dots. As you can see, look how pretty the pine cones and the font, so pretty. So it's the deco dots. You get date dots still, you get numbers still. 
so four sets of different dots and different styles and fonts. These are transparent, um, little or translucent numbers, so I use these all the time if you want to see them in action. I love them. And then your months and days, you still get all of those options. These are the ones that I really like to use in the monthly view just to share with you kind of how this works. I'm going to copy and let's go to my monthly view here. Let's paste and then I'm going to take my little sticker up here. See how that has that white outline? I just feel like this looks perfect. You can put it over here to the left if you want. I usually center it on here and I don't mind if it overlaps a little bit, but look how cute that looks. <laughs> it looks so cute. I love it. So um, that's kind of how that sticker works and it's just perfect for that monthly view here. Or you can layer it on top of, you know, something else if you want to, other stickers and things obviously. But okay, so you get the days or the months there. You get these months, which these have been a really popular. I did find out that the seller who sold this font, um, their shop is closed, sadly. So I'm really bummed about that. I've gotten quite a few questions about which font this is. And unfortunately, it's not available anymore. So that kind of stinks. If this font does become available again, I will certainly let you guys know. So, um, And then these are the days of the week that you receive similar styles there, and then the weekend stickers here too. And then we get into the labels. So again, this is just very condensed. So you get some pattern labels, of course. Um, you get some regular appointment labels, arrows, flags. A lot of the same stuff you'll see in our main kits, but condensed down quite a bit, transparent shapes. Little note about transparent stickers, you guys. This is really unfortunate. I am praying that this will get fixed very soon, but iOS 17, something is going on with their graphics. If you have updated to iOS 17 and you're using individual PNGs, they're gonna be fine in the sticker book. I was able to find a workaround to like get the colors to be correct in the sticker book itself. So if you use a sticker book, this won't be a problem. If you use the individual PNGs, however, these stickers, like the colors are weird. They're like grayed out or something. And so I had wanted to go to the Apple store this weekend. That did not, this past weekend, that did not happen. We were like way, 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 way too busy. I'm hoping this upcoming weekend to go to the Apple store and just make sure like and see if there's like some sort of setting or something that I can change on my device to make it to where it's not going to show um, show that. I wonder if there's a way I can even show you guys like what I mean by all of this. Okay, so let's go to completed kits and then the to done three individual PNGs and I'll go to the labels here and then um, I'll share with you guys like what I'm talking about. Okay, so these are the transparent labels up here. See how the colors are super, super weird. They're like grayed out. They're not the correct color at all. I I don't know how to fix that, you guys. Um, I have no idea. I'm, I'm hoping that Apple will release an update soon to iOS 17. If you have 16, the stickers are going to look fine. It's if you've updated to iOS 17 and then they're translucent stickers or transparent stickers, then the colors are off. And um, I don't know, if you're using a different app in on your iPad um, for digital planning, I would recommend having GoodNotes and just using the sticker book in GoodNotes, like storing your stickers in GoodNotes using the sticker book and doing it that way for now because the colors will be correct in the sticker book, but in the individual PNGs, they're going to be um, funky and that's really unfortunate. I hope that they're going to fix that here very soon, but like I said, I'm hoping to go down there this weekend. If I find a fix for it, some sort of workaround or setting you can change, I will absolutely share that with you guys, but just letting you know, um, that's definitely an issue and hopefully Apple will fix it very soon. So anyways, um, so here is the labels page, more labels. So you get functional, so you get some checklists, of course. I love the checklists. Um, you get your watches, your mood, um, habit trackers, things like that. So again, all the essentials, you do get all of the icons. Every single icon that's included in our normal kits is available in the mini kits as well, which is really nice. So you get all of those. And then you've got scrapbook stickers as well. 
so lots of frames. I really love including pictures on my spreads. You get these little labels here. So winter wonderland, it's snow time, cold hands and warm heart, winter mode on, and sweet winter wishes. Some little paper clips and thumbtacks, some torn paper. And then for the deco, I did include um, little pieces of deco sprinkled throughout here. So these are all separate stickers. We um, kind of combine them and layer them to like make them all fit nicely on the page. And also just to give you guys ideas, like if you like the look of this, you could copy this whole thing over, but you can also tap and get your individual ones too if you would like. So um, you get all sorts of just different abstract shapes and arrows and different things like that, different quotes. Baby, it's cold outside. I love how these turned out with like the little snowflakes and stuff. They look so cute. So... There's that. So you get three pages now of deco. So instead of having, you know, a quotes page, this is now all just deco and it's all intertwined. Um, all the decorative elements and um, there's no like miscellaneous section now. Like everything is kind of like the normal sticker books um, for the most part. It's, yeah, so you get lots of different options there. So as you can see, very, very cute. That way you can put more decoration into your pages if you prefer to do that. So, and then of course you get the widget shapes as well and they come in the pattern look here. So that is that. So you guys, that is everything I have for you today. I'm running a little late on this video. I'm hoping to have it um, edited and uploaded and up by noon for you guys. The kids and Andrew just left for discount tire. Um, I was going to, we had a nail in our tire like the whole time we were on our trip and didn't realize it. So, but I guess it was just in there perfectly to where it wasn't leaking or anything, but it's like hidden in there. Um, so Andrew's going to get that patched and stuff. But um, yeah, so anyways, I need to jump on my computer, get this video edited and uploaded for you guys get new releases up. Um, new releases, videos, everything go up at noon now. That's just to give me some extra time in the morning like I needed today. I've been kind of under the weather the past um, few days. I think it's just like a combination of like the really cold and just all the activities we had going on. I've just had a little bit of a head cold. Um, I'm feeling a lot better today though, thankfully. But um, last night I just, I couldn't even get through a sentence without coughing and so I waited till today to film and thankfully my voice is cooperating with me and I haven't gone on any coughing fits, which is good. But um, anyways, that is everything for today, you guys. Again, I hope you enjoyed seeing all the new goodies. These are available in the new releases section of the shop as of today. So I hope you enjoy. And then I will see you, um, I think, tomorrow for a weekly check-in. I'm thinking about doing... Um, like Monday through Friday schedule, like membership Monday once the membership starts, uh, tip, tip Tuesday, which I'm hoping to film some shorts for that, um, new releases obviously Wednesday, budget Thursday, and then plan with me Friday, and then have the weekend off. I like to be totally off social media on the weekend, so it's kind of what's leading me to that decision is like, you know, I like to respond to comments as quickly as I can, but, um, I don't, I don't really want to be like on social media or on my phone on the weekends. That's kind of family time. So that's sort of why I'm thinking about moving stuff. But anyways, um, that's it for today. So no more rambling. Time to edit. And I will chat with you all later. Bye.